Hey guys, Malcolm here with Bug Out Brothers, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Dave Canterbury's 10 C's of Survivability. Stay tuned. So Dave Canterbury is the instructor and owner of the Pathfinder School, this is a survival school, and he was the co-host of Discovery Channel's Dual Survivor for a while. Uh, and so he came up with this concept of the 10 C's of survivability, and it's really just kind of kind of an easy way to remember your priorities in terms of what items to bring with you in a survival situation. Uh, and he has them broken down into the first five C's and then the second five C's. And this isn't everything that you should have in your bug out bag, but this is just kind of the essentials and the basics. Um, and this is everything that it's really difficult for you to reproduce in the wild. So his first C is a cutting tool. So no sur surprise there. So this can be anything from the knife on your, your Leatherman to a, a larger survival knife like this. And obviously having a cutting tool on the wilderness is going to be uh, a lifesaver, right? You can do a lot with just a, a, a good knife. There's a lot of people who actually teach knife-only survival. Uh, and that's going to be, having a good knife is going to be essential, essential for shelter building, for catching food, for um, building fires. Second C is combustion. So you're going to need this to start a fire. That can be anything from a lighter to a, uh, a flint and st steel like this. Uh, so a means of creating fire is going to be very, very handy to have in the wilderness. The third C is cover. So this can be something as simple as one of these heat reflective mylar blankets. You know, if you're just trying to put the 10 C's in, let's say, your vehicle. There's something a little bit more extensive, such as um, I I've got a hammock and a tarp system to go along with it. So cover to keep protect you from the elements, to keep you warm, keep you out of uh, out of rain. The fourth C is a container, and really this container is for water. So this can be anything uh, from a water bottle like this. Uh, this particular one has a built-in charcoal filter, so it's very handy in a survival situation. But you could also just have something like this. This is a lightweight um, foldable uh, bag that fills up. You can fill up with water. The fifth C is cordage. So you can have anything from twine to um, some 550 cord here. But cordage, it, again, is gonna be incredibly helpful for creating shelter, for creating traps. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with it, some good cordage. So number six C is candlelight. Now, this doesn't actually mean that you need to have a candle, but you need light, as in from a candle. All right, so this is pretty much be any kind of flashlight that you have. Um, I particularly like the ones that have the, the filters that attach to the front. Uh, having a red light on there doesn't affect your, your night vision as much. So the seventh C is a cotton bandana. I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but just remember cotton and you'll instantly think of bandana. And it doesn't actually have to be a bandana, just some sort of cotton cloth, okay? So I actually carry around two cotton bandanas in my bug out bag. One's a bright color, one's a dark color. And that's simply because sometimes you want to be seen, sometimes you don't want to be seen. But these have a large range of uh, uses in a survival situation, anywhere from hygiene to uh, first aid to storage. You know, having a good cotton cloth can really come in handy. So the eighth C is a compass. So compasses are, are pretty essential for navigating out in the wilderness. Um, you know, otherwise you're really just, you might end up wandering around in circles, right? So a compass is a great thing to have with you in a survival situation. So the ninth C is cargo tape. So we all refer to it as duct tape. You can get gorilla tape, but cargo tape is a heck of a lot easier to remember. Um, again, an incredibly versatile tool right here. You can use this for rope. Um, you can use this for fixing your equipment. Um, you can you can even make bags out of this and shoes and hats. You can make all kinds of stuff out of some good duct tape. But just remember, cargo tape. So the tenth and final C is a canvas needle. So really, this is a needle and a thread. Um, it's called a canvas needle just to kind of go along with the 10 C's, make it easier to remember. But any kind of sewing kit, 
um, is going to be essential in a long-term situation. Uh, with this, you can repair any tears in your clothes, in your, your tent or sleeping bag, in your, your bug out bag. You know, being able, able to maintain your tools uh, and your clothes like that is very important in the survival situation. All right, guys, so just to recap, the first five C's are a cutting tool, combustion, cover, container, and cordage. The second five C's are a candlelight, cotton cloth, compass, cargo tape, and canvas needle. Too easy, right? So if you guys found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe for more great bugging out and uh, survival videos.